guys, welcome to Bedtime Story. Hope that you've had a great day. It is Friday evening, so I hope that you've had a great week as well. We are gonna start by just reflecting and thinking about the day and the week if you want to. What are some of the highlights of the day or the week? What are some of the low points? And what have you learned? Because that's an important thing, isn't it? What have you learned this week? Have you made mistakes? Have you got things wrong? Have you had to change things? Because those are important to remember so that you can learn to do better the next time. It's great to get things right, but if you get things wrong, you can learn from them and get it right next time. So tomorrow is a new chance, next week is a new chance to get the things that you did wrong right. But through it all, you can remember that God loves you and that he is always with you. And we're going to be thinking about a story today that we often hear at Christmas when Jesus is born, when Jesus comes to be with humans. We're going to hear this story now. Mary loved Joseph. Mary and Joseph were going to be married soon. Joseph lived in Nazareth and his family lived in Bethlehem. A new leader named Caesar ordered all people to go back to their homeland. He wanted to count all the people in his kingdom. So Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem. Mary was going to have her baby soon. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a safe place to sleep, but all the inns were full. Finally, a man was able to help them. He said, I do not have any rooms left, but you're welcome to sleep in the stable. Joseph made a warm place for Mary to rest. While they were there, little baby Jesus was born. Mary wrapped Jesus in strips of cloth and gently laid him in a manger. Well, what a great story and a great reminder to us that God came to earth to be with us, to tell us just how much he loves us and just how much he wants to be with us. What a great message to go into the weekend with. I'm going to say this prayer for us now. Dear God, thank you for sending your one and only son Jesus. You kept him safe and warm, just like you keep me safe and warm as I go to sleep. Well, I hope that you've had a great week and a good day. We've got Kids Club tomorrow and there's Sunday School at Home on Sunday with the worksheets that you can download off our website. I hope you'll join us for those. We'll be back again on Monday for Wake Up and Sing and Bedtime Story. And as we close now, let me read this passage from the Bible. The Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son and he will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Have a great weekend. See you soon.